As we move into summer, political campaigns for the primary are heating up. People are closely watching the race for governor and checking out the poll numbers that go along with it. Nolan Finley had a conversation with Richard Zuba, the pollster that the Detroit News uses while they were up at the Mackinac Policy Conference. Richard, we are now full-fledged in to the 2018 political season. You did some polling for the chamber coming into this conference. You've been doing some polling ongoing, uh, taking a look at the political climate in, in Michigan as we head into these very vital midterm elections. Just to set it up, every seat in Michigan is up for grabs this Everything. year. That doesn't happen every year. It happens every eight years. And so here we are, big election year in Michigan. How do you see the climate here in Michigan going into the summer campaign season? Well, you know, right now we're seeing two different primaries occurring on right. both sides of the aisle. Mm -hmm. On the Democratic side, what we're seeing is a dead even race between Sri Thanadar and Gretchen Whitmer. Uh, Thana... Does that surprise you? Well, I think, uh, I think everybody is surprised that Sri Thanadar has spent essentially $3 million of right. his own money. Of his own money. And, uh, he has made himself a viable candidate as a result of that money, uh, that spending. But can you remain a viable candidate if it's all based on spending your own money? Well, I think more importantly, does he have support within the Democratic right. establishment? And it seems Gretchen Whitmer has rounded up all of that support. She has all the levers of turnout uh -huh. for a Democratic primary, and she hasn't spent a cent yet, and she's dead even. Okay. Uh, so I think in the next coming weeks, we're going to see her go up on the air, mm -hmm. and I think this race is going to start shifting uh, considerably in her favor. Yeah, just for the fact that she's entering the advertising game, where Danadar has been for all of these weeks. Does this suggest any sort of weakness in her campaign? The fact that this unknown candidate has come out of nowhere and is dead, he dead even with it? Well, you know, campaigns are a marathon. They, they're not a sprint. Yeah. And in this, in this case, what we're looking at is, uh, I think Whitmer's campaign has been very steady. They know what they want to accomplish. Uh, they do have a hole in terms of name ID in Southeast Michigan, okay. particularly Wayne County. That can be made up on television. Uh, what cannot be made up is how you turn out your vote. Yeah. And that's where she's going to have a clear advantage yeah. on primary day. So third candidate in this race, Abdul Al-Sayed, is he non-factor? Uh, at this stage, he's in single digits. It would take considerable resources, which he doesn't appear to have, yeah. uh, uh, to really make a mark here in this race. Uh, I don't expect that he's going to be you know, a real contender for the nomination. So let's look to the Republican side of the primary. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one where you've got Bill Schuette, the Attorney General, running against yeah. the Lieutenant Governor, Brian Kelly. Yeah. Uh, they are the two front runners. Uh, our latest polling had Bill Schuette with about a 12-point lead. Uh, but recently, we've been seeing since the Trump rally in legislative polling. The Trump rally in Michigan, in Macomb County. Right. Mm -hmm that Bill Schuette really seems to have been hitting the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. Seems to be pulling away from Brian Kelly uh, and widening his lead. Do you see that as a Trump factor? Absolutely. So, you know, the popular wisdom is that it might be risky to run with Trump. You're seeing in Michigan, that's not a bad thing. In a Republican primary. In a Republican primary. In fact, in a Republican primary, anybody who is not embracing Donald Trump is not going to have a chance of winning that nomination. Okay. So looking out as this primary unfolds, do you see this this shooty lead extending? What does Kelly have to do? Well, uh, I think the dynamics are there for Bill Shooty to win comfortably okay. in the nomination right now. Uh, I think Brian Kelly, you know, has gone frankly pretty negative. Mm -hmm. uh, is that turning off voters? I think it might be. Uh, okay. Particularly Republican primary voters, uh, you know, Bill, uh, Brian Kelly had a lot of room yet to grow in terms of name ID. Yeah. So it's a big risk to start attacking your opponent uh, when they don't know you yet. Right. So, looking past, looking to the general election, your polling now indicates a shooty Whitmer race. Uh, what do you see in terms of enthusiasm level? between Republican and Democratic voters at this stage? Well, you know, right now we see both bases equally motivated to vote. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I do see a problem Republicans are facing with those voters 
who aren't necess call themselves more supporters of the Republican Party than Donald Trump. Okay. They are less motivated to vote right now. And that's about a third of the Republicans? That is about a third of Republicans. Mm -hmm. And I think that is where there may be weakness on the Republican turnout side in okay. terms of enthusiasm. I think the real story in this election is going to be watch the, the motivation of independents to vote. Ah. Michigan elections are decided by Southeast Michigan independents and they are highly motivated to vote right now. Which way? Uh, right now, they are leaning in favor of the Democrats. So, at this point, Richard Chula, would you say advantage Democrats in Michigan? I say right now, uh, Democrats have some wind at their backs. Mm -hmm. It's reflective of what we're seeing nationally right now. Whether that holds is the real question we face in this campaign. And of course we saw in 2016 it didn't hold. That's right. It all collapsed on the Democrats in the final week. Okay, turning now just real quickly to the Senate race, does Debbie Stabenow have anything to worry about in her re-election bid? You know, uh, Debbie Stabenow is uh, very well positioned, I mm -hmm. believe. I think the Republicans are going to have a very tough time really, truly challenging her in this race. Do you think this is a race national Repub Republicans will put money into? I do not. Okay. I do not. Uh, I don't think the contenders started early enough. I don't think they've been strong enough in terms of their campaigns. Okay. And Debbie Stabenow, you know, one of the great pastimes for Republicans is discount Debbie Stabenow. Okay. Richard Schuba, we got to go. Okay. We're going to play this back the day after the election to see <laughs> just how you did. Now that would be interesting. We should do that.